Hello everyone, in this video we will see the timeline for the electromagnetic waves. But before that, let me ask you two brilliant questions which kept on puzzling the scientist for many centuries. The question number one, what is light? And the question number two regarding the action at a distance. Suppose there are two point charges Q1 and Q2 or two point masses M1 and M2. They are kept far away from all other matter. Now the electric field produced by the Q1 exerts the force on the Q2. You already know these things. But if Q1 is moved slightly from its position, then after how much time the Q2 will feel the motion of Q1? Will it feel instantaneously or there will be a time delay? And if there is a time delay, how much is that time delay? Got these two questions? We'll be trying to answer these two questions through the concepts what we build in this video. Okay. So let's have a look at the timeline of the things. In year 1637, René Descartes proposed that light consists of the particles. And then in year 1678, Christian Huygens proposed that light is a wave. There are two schools of thought. One says light is a particle and the other says the light is a wave. Then comes the year 1704. In this year, Newton proposed that light is a particle, famously known as the corpuscular theory. Actually, Newton extended the idea of the Descartes. Since Newton was a famous scientist, so many followers of the Newton were sticking with the thought that light is a particle. But the Huygens school of the thought, they were sticking with the thought that the light is a wave. So there was a dilemma, there was a fight among the scientists. Few were telling light is a particle and few others were telling light is a wave. Someone said at that moment of time, why we people fight? Let's decide that light behaves as a particle on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Light behaves as a wave on Tuesday, Thursday and the Saturday. And on Sunday, we do not talk of the light. और मैं ये जो मजा है हिंदुस्तान के हर व्यक्ति को देना चाहता हूं इन 1845 फराडे केम अप विद हिज ओन सेट ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट एम ओ एफ ई मैग्नेटो ऑप्टिक फराडे इफेक्ट इन दिस इफेक्ट फराडे वाज कन्विंस्ड दैट लाइट इज एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फिनोमेन देन इन ईयर 1849 ए फिजियाउ मेजरड द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट that comes out to be 3.15 into 10 to power 8 meter per second. Then year 1855, the Weber and the Kolrosh, they did few experiments with the Leiden jar and they obtain a constant which is known as the Weber constant. The Weber constant was C root 2. Here C is the speed of light and C can be written as 1 by root of mu naught epsilon naught. Then in year 1857, the famous German physicist Gustav Robert Kirchhoff established that the electrical signals in a conductor travels with the speed of light. He used the Weber's constant and did few calculation. Okay, then there comes the year 1861. The Maxwell was a great admirer of the Faraday. Maxwell had great mathematical abilities and Maxwell proved that light is an electromagnetic wave and light travels with the speed c is equal to 1 by root of mu naught epsilon naught in the vacuum. Got it? So here comes the answer to the first question that light is an electromagnetic wave and now the second question can also be answered. If the charge Q1 is moved, then after how much time the Q2 will feel its effect? The answer is simple. The time will be the distance between two charges divided by the speed of light. Got it? Then 8 years after the death of the James Clerk Maxwell, the year 1887, Hertz practically demonstrated the generation of the electromagnetic waves and thereafter 
numerous methods of producing electromagnetic waves are practically available and today we are bathed in the electromagnetic waves everywhere around us there are electromagnetic waves for example the tv signal the radio signal the wi-fi signal the bluetooth they all works using the electromagnetic waves i hope you enjoyed the information in next video we'll be observing the displacement current see you then stay awesome take care